Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we have a PSU silent mod video. This means we will take a Chinese mining PSU and try to make it more silent. This process will differ a bit depending on your individual model, but maybe this is an inspiration for you if you felt your mining PSU was too loud. Before starting I was taking some volume measurements. I will also mod the rig itself at some point, but wanted to start with the PSU as it is loud in itself. First power supply and modded rig together are around a little bit under 80 dB. After building out the PSU and running it alone, volume meter next to it, it is singing at around 90 dB so pretty loud. Depending on where exactly you measure we can be even above 90. Let's change that. My choice of fans, regular viewers might have guessed it, are Noctua fans. In this special case the 80mm version and the Redux are enough for what I need instead of their flagship fans. Yes, Noctua fans are more expensive but by experience I just know what I pay for. We'll talk more about the fact that I've been asked why I'm a Noctua fanboy later in the video. But for now just let me tell you that this video is not sponsored, fans were paid for with my own money. First step is to take a look inside. After opening it, it might or might not get finicky, depending on your individual PSU. I've seen some of these with just glue all over all connectors and PCB, or simply closed off together and soldered. Sometimes you are lucky and just can get the fans cable out to work with that. For example, with Bitmain APW PSUs, my friend Crypto MP Miner was able to reconnect cables. So you might be in for some trial and error, or maybe a smoking fan. But this also reminds me to tell you, please be careful. Sometimes these Chinese PSUs are in itself dangerous designs or simply crappy made. Just please take care if you decide to do some work on one of yours. I myself am far from a professional with electronics and I do things like this also on a trial and error basis. Honestly, please only do stuff like that at your own risk or together with someone who knows what they are doing. Enough disclaimers, let's get on to it. In my special case I did see two pin connectors on the PCB, but after trying some two to three pin adapters I still had lying around and even having to customize them, nope it did not work. Have you ever seen a grown man work on a connector with a file in order for it to fit? But well, they would not turn on like that even when the connector was in, so I had to go the dirty way. This means cutting the original cable to use the connector and cut the original connector of the Noctua as well to use the cables. Let's give it a try. This means some fiddling around and every viewer of you who does something electronical professionally is probably already shaking his or her head. <laughs> but well if it works, it works. Basically connecting red to red and black to black. The third pin is normally used for RPM impulses to control the power of the fan. But with only connecting red and black it should normally always run at full speed. So you could ignore the third cable in a case like that. Or if you are more proficient than me you can probably find a solution for some sort of fan control as well while you are at it. First only one fan did work but it was just simple user error from my part. I stripped too much of a cable. After fixing that up indeed both Noctua fans turn on from the PCB. While putting everything back together let's take a look at the results and after that talk about the costs of the whole silent project. First of all PSU isolated with the two Noctua fans instead of originals. We now are at around 65 dB in the front and around or below 70 dB at the exhaust. That means we actually dropped around or more than 20 dB from before. I call that a success. Please mind that of course that kind of modding is not for everyone. Some of you will say it's a waste of money, but that does depend on your use case and where you plan to put your rig. You folks know that I plan to use it with the high B case recently featured on the channel. So now already at least the PSU is silent. But also generally I just have a beefy silent PSU now as backup if I ever need it. 
About the silent mod on the case, I have to tell you that I will take more time on that, as it's no priority at the moment. GPU wise, I still want to consolidate more cards and fill up bricks like the Octominer back up first again. But I wanted to give you folks an impression of that kind of mod and show you what is possible with just some simple tweaking and connecting some cables. Of course it hurts to cut your fans, but it was for a good cause. All in all, that mod would have cost me around 22 euro if I had bought the fans new just for this mod. I didn't. I ordered them some time ago for another silent project, but the person this would have been for chickened out, so I was left with those beauties. I never wanted to resell them as I knew that the channel will need them at some point. If you want to go my route, mind that there is also a silent version of the same fan. Depending on how hot your PSU gets and how much cooling it needs, you could go even more quiet. Check if the more silent or more air moving option is for you. By the way, while we're at it, let's talk about the Noctua fanboy thing. And yes, I really love their fans. Mind though that none of my content is sponsored. I pay for stuff myself and I simply choose them because I know they will work for what I want to do. If you have any other silent fan recommendation, I'm always willing and interested to test new things. As this channel has never been sponsored by tech company anyway, what you see is what I risk. <laughs> other costs were only work time and those little cable connector pieces. Very cost effective little mod in my opinion. Again, I would recommend to check your particular PSU first before purchasing anything for a mod like that, as they vary greatly. It should still be somehow possible with most types of PSUs. But as mentioned, sometimes you can have bad luck and everything is simply glued shit. Also in cases like the Bitmain APW or some other PSUs, the fans cables are not the normal PC standard. So you have to figure out which cable does what and cannot simply operate by colors. Still, if this video gave you maybe some inspiration or ideas for your own operation, I'm glad about it. That's already it. Classical silent mod by slapping a Noctua in it. I hope you folks liked it. Tell me if you would like to see something else or similar, or if I have left something out. Please subscribe for weekly tech and mining content. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!